Hi everybody, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video Channel. Uh, thanks for dropping by to watch uh, more of our videos. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, you saw us take Finn McMissile and turned him into Primer Finn McMissile. Then we turned him into Chimichanga. Pretty cool. One of the uh, custom cars from Pixar Cars 3. This is one of the Demolition Derby cars. And the other day we made Airborne out of Nitro Aid. That came pretty cool. And what we're doing here, folks, if this is your first time here, is we're taking cars from Pixar Cars and we're turning them into the cars from Cars 3 or whatever you want me to turn them into, actually. This here, by the way, is Leakless, turned them into Pile Up. And this is, uh, I think it's Mustang Burger, turned into T Bone. And we have a pickup truck from Cars 1 that's turned into Taco. And we have a whole bunch of other cars here, folks, that we're making for Demolition Derby. Here's Ramon, turned into Sigler. And Mater, turned into Jimbo. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have APB, formerly Boost, and a bunch of cars here. I gotta show you something I got yesterday. Look, I went to Walmart. I picked up, like I saw, I saw you just the other day, Roscoe. And we have a brand new Miss Fritter. And I picked up one of my favorites so far. Uh, this is Fabulous Lightning McQueen. I couldn't wait for this one. This is a collector's item right off the bat. I'm not even gonna open it up because uh, the closest I made to it was right here. This is my custom Lightning McQueen turned into Fabulous. Not too bad, it's Rusty's pretty close and I also did a believe it or not from cars I mean from planes this is dusty painted in honor of Doc Hudson and back here I've got uh, a brand new Jackson Storm and a two-pack Jackson Storm and Danny Suarez and a couple of these cars folks look I got two of these Dynaco cruiser mirrors and what do I have back here a brand new Sally and this is what I picked up yesterday too look this is Smokey now I already have Smokey but I want to turn him into old school Smokey when he was all one beautiful color. That's out there now too, but I want to paint him up Sunday to match. Somebody wants me to turn uh, Sarge into Roscoe, and I happen to have Sarge here somewhere, and that's a good idea. I might turn Sarge into Roscoe. It's almost the same idea. And um, if, again, this is one of the cars I made too. This is a uh, Cruiser Mirrors' is Holler. And we have all kinds of cars here. You want to watch our videos, there's a button here you can click on. It'll take you to a playlist. You can watch all kinds of them. I, was even, I even made um, uh, Santa McQueen and Mrs. McQueen, which is Lightning McQueen and Sally. And someone said I should have all the pities in reindeer, look. So I lined them all up, all the pities. And there's the guy at the front. This is from Uncle Topolino's band in Italy from Cars 2. And Mater's gonna be Rudolph leading the reindeer, I mean the pities, with Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus taking all the toys around the world. Anyway, what we're gonna do today, folks, is somebody suggested I do tailgate. And there's tailgate. And tailgate kind of looks like snot rod. So the first thing I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to take snot rod, put the paint out here, I'm going to prime snot rod, then we're going to paint in this color, whatever it is, I don't know, but I'll try to match it, it looks kind of like purple, and put some red on the door, some black stuff, the the greasy something, I can't read it on the side there, and I'll put some black stuff on, and number 88, paint the wheels black, and we'll try and make this car look a bit like tailgate. Okay, we got our primer paint here, it's just plain old uh, cheap primer from the dollar store. I just call it primer because it makes the car look perfect for painting. Now this whole car is going to be painted primer because uh, there's nothing that's not showing except for the eyes. Okay, so we're going to paint the engine and the... All, no, the windows are going to stay black, so I'm going to leave them, them out, okay, because they're not covered in. So I'm just going to do my best to put a nice coat of primer. I should trim off those exhaust pipes because there's no exhaust pipes on tailgates. So I'm just going to reach in here with my pliers. There goes one, there goes the other. Okay, we got to try to make them look as much as we can like the ones you can buy in the store. Now, I just came from Walmart and I saw a lot of the cars there that I already made. So I didn't have to buy them. I saw, you wouldn't believe Sigler was there. I saw Jimbo and, um, gee, I saw a whole bunch of them. So anyway, they're out there now at Walmart or you can do what I'm doing, try and make your own. It's a lot of fun. You can get the paint at the dollar store. Um, and grab some of your old cars and paint them up. Now I got some paint on his eyes. There, it's better. Okay, and I'm gonna do the wheels black too while I got a, while I got a chance. Get some black paint. Gee, this car needs a paint job anyway. He's beat to pieces. We played with these a lot over the years and put them in boxes, and now they're coming back to life again. We have several of snot rods. We used one already to make Dom from uh, that car movie. I forget what it's called now. It's painted almost black. Somebody suggested that. And by the way, um, there's a button up here. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I do uploads. If you don't know how to do that, ask someone to help you. There's a bell there. You have to select the bell. And if you hit the bell, that means every time I upload a video, you'll get a notification. Otherwise, you'll only 
get a bulk notification once a week or something that people upload it. It's not a very good system for subscribers. It's kind of a step backwards. What's the point of subscribing if you're not going to get the videos? But I wish there was something we could do about that. But uh, YouTube makes the decisions, not not the not the not the people that make the videos. There, nice. Okay, I'll try and straighten that up later. Perfect. Oops, got some hate on the window. Darn. Okay, folks, thanks again for your comments from the last few videos. I got a hundred and some comments on them, and I read them all as much as I can. And um, I try and comment or reply as often as I can, too. So don't don't worry about leaving comments. I, I'll, I'll read them anyway. And I love your suggestions. Okay, let me get some black. I'll do the wheels. Okay, a bit of black. I'll do two wheels now and two wheels later when they dry. Okay, so I'll put that brush down. So I find my brush, and here's the black. The whole tire and wheel are painted black. Nothing to be fancy about here. It's a, it's a demolition derby car. It's gonna be beat up anyway, so I think you just grab a can of paint at the at the shop and paint them all black. Now, where's the gray? Here it is, put my fingers on it. Let's leave this dry and we'll come back and we'll put our first coat of whatever color that is. I'll mix up some paint. I'll, I'll do that in front of you so you know what I'm doing. And then we'll do the back wheels. Okay, uh, now we have, if you want to know, this is primer snot rod. So if anybody asks what primer snot rod looks like, there's primer snot rod. I have a very close color to what tailgate looks like. See, it's kind of like a little weird purple color. So I'm going to put some right there. And if it's too dark in the first coat, I'm going to add some white to it for the second coat. So let's um, grab a nice brush and we'll put the first coat of exterior color on tailgate. And I'll compare the color to the picture to make sure it's not too dark. It's going on nice. I'm putting two coats on anyway. So it's going to be really thick when it's done. And then I'll put the red door, the white stripes, and the 88 on the uh, on the doors and on the roof, actually. Okay. So the whole engine is painted in this version. Um, so that that's why the guy, whoever it was, said do snot rod as tailgate because he got the big engine blower on top. That's pretty cool. You guys know the car is pretty good. And I'm glad you're sending me the comments because I wouldn't have any idea what to do. So keep the comments coming and your suggestions. And if I can't do them, like I got a nice request to do Miss Fritter as um, Fabulous Miss Fritter. And I might do that because that seems to be the most popular one. Um, I was going to make it the Partridge Family Bus, but most people would know who that Partridge Family Bus is right now. But um, there's also a, uh, another idea somebody gave this morning. Um, I forget what it is now. Turn Miss Fritter into something else. I'll have to look it up. Sorry about that. And um, keep your ideas coming. If I can't do it, I'll say I can't do it. And uh, some things I can't do, Mr. Drippy. I may have to buy Mr. Drippy because I don't know what to do. I was gonna, I was gonna use red or something, but I can't use red. I only have one red. I don't want to ruin them. So I usually want to do these cars when I got a few of them and turn them into something. This is the right color, I'll tell you. There's no, there's no way I'm diluting this color with white because. This is a nice, nice, deep, um, not purple, it's like a tutti fruity they call it, but uh, she can hardly see his eyes. I may have to add his eyes in her later, myself. New eyes. Probably, with big black dots in there or something. There we go. There, the first coat is complete. Now I can do the back tires. Uh, I did the front ones already, I did the back ones now. Grab a brush and put some black on these back wheels, so they're all black. I have to get new lighting, I think, because it's kind of in the shade here a lot. Hope you guys don't mind. Nobody complained yet about the lighting, so I guess it's okay. There, the whole wheel is black. And this side, too. No problem. There we go. There's the black wheels, and we'll come back and put a second coat on that, and then we'll work on the white stripes. Okay, that first coat dried pretty quick. Now I'll put another coat on, and I'll really put the uh, the depth to the paint. Look at that. See, it's going on really nice, and the car is really warm because just on the heat lamp, the paint will dry pretty fast. Okay, looks good. Yeah, lots of ideas, folks. Keep them coming. Keep the comments coming. I appreciate it. And uh, Cars 3. Uh, was one of the best of, of the three, I think. I liked Cars 1 and Cars 2, but Cars 3 had lots of emotion in it, and we really liked that. Lots of uh, Cruz Ramirez ideas to come up yet in the future. 
people keep asking me for zebra cruiser mirrors. What is it about the zebra that makes it so popular? I got zebra lightning McQueen, zebra mater, zebra chick hick, zebra Jackson storm now, and zebra dock. And uh, geez, I oh, couldn't believe it. All the zebra cars I got. People keep asking for them. Uh oh, that's gonna be dry. I have to have to, I'm gonna have to draw some new eyes on them because that's covered. Heck with it, cover it right up. We'll start again. There's no way I can keep that clean because as soon as it touches it, it dries. So I'll paint a white strip on there and put new eyes in tailgate. Okay, that looks pretty good. But the windows, I'm gonna try and keep them clean. I have a little bit of paint on them. I can't get it off once it sticks there, it's gone. But it's a demolition derby car, I'm not too worried about it. Next, I'll be putting the white stripes on. They go right either side of that, right down the whole length of the car, and paint the doors red because number 88 is going on that with black uh, first and then uh, the 88 in white over that. So that's pretty much it for the purple or the this weird color. It is. Watch, I'll show you. That's the car there. Next up is the white stripes. They go right down the hood, the whole end, and the red doors. Okay, so we'll come back in a few minutes and do that. Okay, we're all set to go now. We've got the, the cars dry, two coats. I'm going to put some red on the doors. We've got some red paint right here and some white uh, for the stripes. Okay, we've got some white right here. There we go. And the stripes go the full into the car, so I need a, a thin brush, okay? Here's a good thin brush here. Okay, so I'm going to be very careful putting the white right down the full into the car. Actually, I'd put the eyes first. Might be a better idea to, to rebuild the the eye section here. Okay, pretty good. Try and do it this side. Just going to use some uh, black dots for the eyes. So stripes go down the whole length of the car, starting here and on the other side. Pretty good, and down the roof. I mean the hood. Sorry. And these demolition derby cars—they don't have to be perfect. That's the best part about them, uh, because they're, they're going to be destroyed anyway. And they go right down the trunk too. I should have taken a picture of the one in the store when I saw it. There. Now then, we get some red for both doors, and I got some red. Some red right here. I'll paint the door. It's not very fancy paint, it's just splashed on like it's here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. Do the same on the other side. Yeah, this is gonna turn out pretty good. Thanks again to the person who suggested I do tailgate from Snot Rod because it was perfect. Okay, then we'll leave that dry and then we'll come back and write the number 88 in black on the doors and then fill it in with white and on the roof too. Okay, let's leave this dry. Okay, it looks like the eyes are kind of blue with a black dot in the middle, so I have some nice blue right here. It's called um, Tropical Blue. Put some blue right there, and I'll put a nice dot right where the eyes are on either side of the engine, and then we'll put a black dot in the middle. Okay, I'm going to try and rebuild these eyes. Not bad. Good. Now if I can only match that with a nice perfect black dot in the middle in a few minutes, it'll be great. Let's come back when that dries. Now let's um, do some black on the doors in the 88. If I can make 88 on the doors. It doesn't have to be fancy on the door because I'm going to actually cover it over with white 88. So I'm just going to write 88 in black here. Kind of big. Because the real number is going to be the white. See, just to get there, that's all I want to do is like that there. And then when I fill it in with the white, you'll be able to see 88 nice. I don't think I'll be able to write too much on the, the sides, whatever it says. There's actually a little design here too, a little black design. And to the other side. Hmm, not that good. I have to fix that up if I can. Hopefully, I can do a better job with the white to make it look like 88. There's also a little tiny design right here on this one. OK, 
Okay, and it says the greasy grill on the side, but I can't write that yet. Hang on, let's let this dry, and we'll put number 88. Oh yeah, 88 on the roof too, I forgot, in, uh, in black. Okay, you can already make that out as 88, but once I fill it in with the white, you'll see it. Okay, let's let that dry and come back in a few minutes. Okay, we're all set to go. I got a special brush here. I cut most of the the brush, the bristles off, and I'm going to try and write 88 as nice as I can inside this 8. Nice. Okay, let's do the other one. Gee, I'm getting good at that. That's the best one ever. Now let's see if I can do the other side. This is the one that's going to get photographed, so I have to be very nice with this one. You notice all the cars on my thumbnails all face the same direction? They all face to the right, and they all face at about a 40 degree angle. That's when you see all the cars in car magazines are all facing the same direction, and they're all facing a certain way. I'm going to have to put some black right in the middle there when that dries. That's okay though. The car looks the best when it's set up a certain way. Okay, here goes. Number 88 is almost complete. There's nothing left to do, I don't think, after this here. I don't see too much more. Um, no, let's, uh, I think that's the end of it, folks. Let's uh, clean our stuff up here and have a look at uh, Tailgate. Well, folks, there you have Tailgate. And there's a picture of Tailgate from the uh, internet. I printed it off. And here is tailgate from Snot Rod. I think it came pretty darn close, pretty good. It looks a lot like it. Very much so, actually. It was a good choice for the person who uh, suggested it. I'll put him right in here next to T-Bone and Pile Up and Jambalaya, I mean, um, Chimichanga and an Airborne. And here's my Zebra cars. If you haven't seen any of these videos, folks, go back and look, click up here. It can take you to all the videos. The one that started it all, Primer McQueen from Cars 3. And I'm going to be doing fishtail next, I think. Someone suggested, I actually asked people, what will I use for fishtail? And someone suggested I use Mario Andretti. And you know what? It's a perfect match. I had to bend the back of them up with the vise to make them look like it there. Paint them blue and orange. And uh, put some black spots where the snorkels are. And put an orange spot in the hood. Paint the wheels black. But that's a perfect match for fishtail. It'll probably be tomorrow or Saturday. And if you haven't seen the videos, like I said, go click here. And look, there's... Santa McQueen, Mrs. Claus, uh, Jackson Storm, painted as a zebra, Bill, the car that's not released yet, it's actually fair game, the taxi, and if you missed this here, Zebra, Miss Fritter, and Rainbow Miss Fritter, thanks for watching folks, please keep your comments and your suggestions coming in, there's a button here you can click to get to all the rest of the videos, and download the app, thanks for watching and have a great day.